Gents and ladies. What do you think it is? It's video time. Come on. So, I wanted to do the cassette tag that Jason Skills did. Unfortunately, I can literally only answer, like, fucking a couple of these. But I wanted to, to I'll, I'll answer the questions that I can. I want to do a little rant, and then I'm going to talk about something else after. So stick around, watch the whole video, because it would be really appreciated. So, I'm going to do this as best as I can. Um, so the questions are, I'll go through the questions, and then obviously you'll know what I can answer and what I can't. Um, show a recent tape. I think the most recent one that I have is uh, Black Sabbath Sabotage. This is also going to be featured in another question. Um, yeah, because this, this was the last tape I bought. Um, and I think I actually bought this at the same time as I bought the vinyl. So Black Sabbath Sabotage. And it's in pretty freaking remarkable condition. You can still see everything written there. Both sides. Tape on the inside looks immaculate. So that's pretty killer. I'm not going to lie. Moving on to the next one. Show a punk tape. I don't have any punk tapes. Uh, as you guys know, I just started getting into that style of music. Um, and so far, I'm liking what I hear. Uh, I got a bunch of my stuff on my Apple Music. I just don't necessarily go out and buy a whole lot. Just, you know, things have popped up and I don't want to go crazy with the monies. Show a metal tape. Absolutely. That is um, the this this here, which is Pleasures of the Flesh by Exodus. I actually got this for nothing. Absolutely nothing from a friend of mine. Um, it was actually really, really cool. I'm just going to pull this out real quick. Literally everything is in absolutely perfect condition. Combat records, like everything here is still good. There's not a stain on it. Um, all the lyrics are very tiny, as I'm sure you're probably well aware. Uh, if you've had a copy of this tape. Um, again pristine 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 just unbelievably unbelievably pristine even the case itself it's a little dingy but hey it's bound to be you know like holy hell uh show a hip-hop tape not a chance different genre so i'm gonna cheat a little bit because as you guys know this is a metal channel i talk a lot about metal a lot about hard rock but I'm going to go, like, maybe I'm maybe this is over-cheating, but I'm going to go with uh, this classic, Led Zeppelin uh, 4. Um, basically, you could tell that side's pretty beat up. That's probably that's the most side played, which is side 2. And then side 1 is actually pretty damn good. Um, the, you know, the inner... The, the insert card is in great condition. Um, yeah, like it's, it's like, I don't, I don't know who had these, but they had them stored somewhere and this is in excellent condition. I'm, I'm really stoked that I grabbed that. I also grabbed Houses of the Holy too. Um, so that's number five, uh, different genre. Next is local bands. Unfortunately, um, I don't have any local bands. I'm going to have to change that uh, on cassette. I do have them on CD. Um, my own, uh, no, <laughs> unfortunately, no, um, with Age of Sin, depending on where that goes, if it stays around, stays together, I would at least like to record some stuff, I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen there, um, but my other project that I've been working on, I would, if we could get, some, if we can stick together, get our stuff done, get some stuff recorded, um, I'd love to put a cassette of that, I, I think that'd be awesome. You guys, I, I can't wait till that. I can't wait till we can even talk about it in public. Because uh, that's going to be killer. Um, number eight. Uh, a re Show a reissue. Again, I don't have any reissues. I haven't bought a whole lot of, like I said, anything. So, you know, if you guys want to do this, please do this. Uh, 
uh, Jason obviously did a great tag. Unfortunately, I can't do half of these questions. That's the hardest part. Um, a blank, show a blank tape or a mixed tape. Um, show a valuable tape. Now I'm going to go back to, um, I'm going to go back to sabotage because uh, this one here, I paid 10 bucks for this, uh, obviously because it's in great condition, uh, paid, I still even have the sticker on it. So that's nine ninety five Canadian. So yeah, no, it was, it was good. It's, it's, I, I, I don't, I don't have a problem paying 10 bucks for a tape. That's an excellent condition. Um, show a tape you purchased at a show. I haven't been to one and any of the bands I have stuff, it's not on cassette. Plus I'm in Canada. We're not allowed to play really. Um, show a tape still wrapped. I will absolutely do that. This is, this actually came to me as VCLT from Jason. Um, this one here is called various dooms doomsday. This is uh, industrial experimental noise synth, that kind of thing. And as well as this here, uh, so this is lownoiseproductions.com, of course, because it's from Jason. Um, yeah, these are both still wrapped. And you're probably wondering why I haven't unwrapped them is because, well, I can't play them because my player fucking sucks. Next to buy. Well, I know Rotten Carnage uh, Records put out a bunch of, uh, like, reissues of, like, Eff Effigy of the Forgotten by Suffocation. Left Hand Path is coming out Friday uh, for Bandcamp Day. Um, what else? Uh, Carnage. Oh, shoot. Carnage has got one. Uh, Recaputrefaction by uh, Carcass, which I really want to get a cassette. The unfortunate thing about this is... On their on their band camp, there's five tapes that I eat that I picked. The cassettes themselves with the with conversion because it's all in American, uh, converting it over to, to Canadian, plus the shipping for five cassettes. It's a hundred and four dollars. Go fuck yourselves. And and people would be like, well, then you're not really supporting the bands. I'm not paying that much for shipping. I'm not paying $35 for five cassettes for shipping. No. Which is why I'm probably going to start going to like CDN Records and uh, and maybe 20 bucks spin. Because 20 bucks spins is not that bad. But CDN has got, CDN's all Canadian, obviously Canadian uh, distribution. So they have like deals where you can get... Um, four mystery cassettes for like 25 bucks including shipping so why that's that's the biggest that's the one of the biggest things that i hate the most so if i could if i could find some floating around here that'd be awesome i mean i'll definitely do it um and sh last but not least show a live cassette i didn't think i had one and i totally forgot about this i actually have a copy of black sabbath live at last and i believe this is with ronnie dio if memory serves me correct. Maybe not. This I think that could actually be No, I think this is I think that's I think that's Oz. But the cool thing is is it's got like and again, whoever had this cassette before I did, look at that card man. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Now, I, and I can't remember if this is a bootleg or not, but it, it seems... I don't think so. And my brain gets splattered. And then you have War Pigs, Wicked World, Paranoid, and then on side... That's on side two, and then on side three, of course, we have Tomorrow's Dream, Sweet Leaf, Killing Yourself to Live, Cornucopia, Snowblind, Children of the Grave. I mean, absolute perfection. So yeah, um, that's basically my ability to answer questions, which I know some people will be like, well, you can't, that's really not even you doing the tag. I'm really not doing the tag. I'm just showing what I have. Now, my sort of rant, it's really not a rant. It's just watching artists who are big artists who get a lot of love for whatever reason going on social media and acting like complete and utter idiots. And I'm probably, and you're probably sure, or you probably know who I'm talking about. That's Mr. Chris Barnes of 
formerly of Cannibal Corpse, and uh, six feet under. So Chris is a fucking clown, okay? He goes on and on and on. He's like, well, I watched this podcast on YouTube the other day with the top death metal vocalist, and I, I, I'm, I'm physically ill with what the genre has become. Chase from Gate Creeper was on it. Alex from Mandeath was on it. George from Cannibal. And Trevor from the Black Dahlia. Let me make this perfectly fucking clear. I put out a tweet about this and said that, basically said each what each one of these guys do. They basically embarrass him. And I said, be a man, go on the podcast. Stop being a whiny bitch. Uh, and, he, and of course, Chris blocks you because that's what he does. He does if you, if you say anything negative, you will be blocked. That's a stupid, stupid way to go about things. I understand people are like, well, he's allowed to do what he wants. Sure, but you look like an absolute petty fucking bitch if you want my honest to fucking God's opinion. So he's, and now he's like, he goes, all death metal vocalists suck except me. Okay. You know, we know, Chris, every song that you sing sounds like this. But the thing with Chris is, is like, you have to look, I have to look at it from this perspective. You literally are one of the biggest death metal. You are one of the progenitor of that style of singing, lyric, all that shit from, you know, eating back to life, which is more of a thrash thing. So there's some gutturals there, but it's not real good. Um, Butchered at Birth is where he, where is where he was getting better. Too many mutilated. His best vocal performance, as far as I'm concerned. The bleeding musically is great. Uh, his vocals suck because he's doing this E thing a lot. And that's just, I just, I just think Chris sucks. You can fight me on it all you want, but I really don't care. Doesn't matter. Now, last but not least, um, Jason Skills, myself, hopefully Wilson, um, if he's around, and Danny Hodgson from Death Valley Driver, will be uh we will be getting together again tomorrow night for the stream we are absolutely looking forward to this i was unfortunately not able to attend last week because i had my wisdom tooth out um i haven't really had a whole lot of pain but because i had to change gauze so much i was like nah i'm not gonna go on there because i don't because i'm gonna have to get up and go and move and all that shit and i really didn't have the ability to do that on the fly so to speak so um we're going to be doing that tomorrow night. Um, topics. I don't know if he wants me to really say, but I'll kind of, I'm sh anyways, it's basically, uh, pick your top five metal or punk albums. Um, th like literally right up here, like the upper echelon of your collection. Talk about them, all that sort of jazz. And, uh, yeah. So I'm absolutely looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to doing this every week. It's going to give me the ability to really sit sit back and figure out where I'm at metal-wise and just kind of go from there. So, um, of course, I'm sure Dan's going to pull out a couple things and he's probably going to wind me up like he normally does and all. And I'll also, you know, I'll also give him the shit too because... It's what I do. It's what we do. He, we've gone back and forth on this stuff before. And it, it's it's quite funny. So, short, short, shorter video tonight. Um, I, you know, plus we're also going to do something at the start too, uh, tomorrow night. Because I'm sure you're going to see the news coming in. And um, we'll have to talk about that. So, um, I won't, I'm sure you guys will see. But uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to check this all out and let you know what's up. So thank you guys also very, very much uh, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully I'll get to some, I'll be able to release some music and uh, talk about things with bands. Cheers, guys. Love you and keep it fucking heavy.